So I swept and tapped in the day and night, learning languages, what a delightful sight. Duolingo, you've made learning so much fun. We will all as my teacher, we've just begun. Thank you so much, ChatGPT, three and a half for your poem, but today we will talk about Duolingo, free versus paid, which is right for you. And what do we know about Duolingo? Duolingo, the popular language learning platform, isn't just a clever app. It's backed by a robust scientific research. The creators of Duolingo have integrated elements from cognitive psychology and behavioral science into its design to enhance the learning experiences. For example, spaced repetition, gamification, immediate feedback, positive reinforcement, and community and social learning. How it works? Spaced repetition. This is based on the psychological principle that we remember information better when it's revisited at increasing intervals. Duolingo's algorithm adapts to each user, ensuring that you practice what you need to reinforce and not waste time on what you already know. Gamification The incorporation of gamification elements, such as earning points and competing levels, taps into behavioral psychology. It leverages our natural drive for achievement and competition to motivate users to engage with the platform regularly. Immediate feedback Duolingo provides instant feedback on your answers, which is crucial in effective learning. Psychology shows that timely feedback helps learners correct mistakes and reinforce correct responses, making the learning process more efficient. Positive reinforcement. The platform offers rewards and achievements, triggering the release of dopamine in the brain, which is associated with feelings of pleasure and reinforcement. This positive reinforcement encourages users to continue their language learning journey. Community and social learning. Duolingo also incorporates social learning aspects. Connecting with friends, competing or just sharing progress fosters a sense of community and support which can be highly motivating for users. And you, what do you think? Remember, people have different reasons and circumstances for choosing either option, and it's not fair to make assumptions about their financial status or work ethic based on their choice. The key is to emphasize that Duolingo aims to make language learning accessible to a wide audience. Thank you so much for your time, thank you for your attention. Please like, share and subscribe my channel and see you next time.